When you want a computer that does it all, doesn't break the bank, and doesn't come with a bunch of asterisks like the MacBook Air, well then you should buy the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 in 2024. Without a doubt, there are two computers that were made just so far ahead of their time. They still provided you all of the capabilities and the power that you really ever need, and now both of them are old enough that you can get them for absolute bonker prices. The one that pulls out all the stops, and I won't have a single asterisk in this video, is that M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14. You can find these today for around $1,200 renewed on Amazon. They were $19.99 when they first came out. You could also get them for around the same price from Walmart? When did Walmart get into the game of decently priced Apple tech? We mentioned them during the MacBook Air video too. I wasn't able to find significant deals on the Apple refurbished store until you start going into the higher end specs like the M1 Max version. So keep a look out there and they might pop up again. Something to be aware of though, it's a little bit of a trap. If you are checking Apple refurbished, the M3 Pro 14 shows up for around $1,359 and we're not gonna get into a whole video comparing the two here, but that model is actually the MacBook Pro 13 replacement. So you are missing some key features on that compared to the higher end MacBook Pro, which the M1 happens to be in that higher end body. So what do you get for that 1200 bucks? Well, you get the eight core M1 Pro processor, 14 core GPU, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, and 512 gigabytes of storage. There is more, but you know, that, that, that spoils the video. Like we'll get into more of those features as we go throughout today. But under the hood, that's a lot of stuff for 1200 bucks. The current cheapest M3 MacBook Pro 14 is 1599. And even then you only get eight gigabytes of unified memory plus a lot of other things are missing. And again, not a, not a comparison video. That price is clearly the first reason to buy the M1 Pro 14. Seriously, there is not another computer on the market that has the pedigree of function at this price. There are computers for far more money that don't have the same kinds of abilities that this three-year-old laptop, holy crap, has it been three years already? That this three-year-old laptop can do. The closest you can get brand new in Apple space today is with the 15 inch M3 MacBook Air, which is a great laptop. It is the newest and the shiniest. However, doesn't compete. Keep that in mind as we go through the rest of the reasons. You get all of this flexible, almost over the top functionality, cheaper than most other laptops out there. The next reason to buy the MacBook Pro 14 is the build quality. I probably don't need to mention this in every single Apple video, but I like to, because when you start talking about saving money, sometimes manufacturers will save that money at the cost of the expense of the build materials and construction. However, two things save you here. One, despite a bunch of angry comments on the internet, I've never seen or had issues with Apple build quality outside of some keyboard antics years ago. Two, you aren't buying a budget computer. This at one point was a very expensive machine. You are just allowing the march of time to depreciate its monetary value for you while you still get the same quality components. I'm telling you, back without the, without the everyday dad stuff, always wait to buy new tech. Even six months after release, you can end up with far more cash left over. And then you can either buy new accessories, save some money or bump up in specs if you wanted a little more power. Okay, back to the, back to the, woo! The chassis here is near perfection. Solid, resilient. The hinge is still going strong on this all this time later. I mean, I gave this one to my wife. I'm actually quickly borrowing this from her right now as she needs to work, so we gotta do this quick today. She's been using this daily for years at this point through family and work trips, airports, hotels, all the normal friction of modern life has been beaten into this computer and yet it still looks almost as good as the day we unboxed it here on the channel. The keyboard is still crisp yet refreshing. Weird things to say, I know, but something about these, they just feel good to type on. Trackpad is still large and in charge and I won't go into every little detail. Suffice to say, yeah, it's, it's built really well. Part of that physical design yet separate enough that I wanted to mention it and it's kind of the biggest deal with the price to performance conversation today. You might think for $1,200, you'll get the old standard 60 hertz retina panel that Apple puts on their, all their lower slash mid-range tech. And you'd be wrong. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this has that higher end 120 hertz pro motion display that was actually uh, displayed on the M1 MacBook Pro 14s. No hyperbole. It's probably the single best laptop display for the price. Uh, ever. In fairness, the Samsung Galaxy Book does come close, but I don't know that the rest of the trade-offs for going Windows makes sense just to get the display. However, here it's crisp 
vibrant, gets bright enough to work anywhere, and that is the most important part of a laptop. The lap the display has to be big enough to actually work on, and you have to be able to see it anywhere. If you get a display that's too dark, why even buy a laptop in the first place? But the most important feature here is that it's fast enough to game World of Warcraft Classic at 120 hertz. What else do you really need in a computer monitor? <laughs> I almost... I was said at that time. The next reason continues with the physical reality of the MacBook Pro. The ports are all top notch. Because this is the higher end chassis, well, when it came out, it was the only 14 inch chassis, but now thanks to that M3 MacBook Pro 14, we have to differentiate here. Because it's the higher end one, you get Thunderbolt 4 on both sides, SD card, HDMI port, headphone. It's exactly what you need from a hybrid laptop that can travel, but also work as a home computer. And unlike the other MacBook Pros, these will export out to multiple displays. You can get up to three external displays if you happen to be a home wall o monitors type person. And you cannot get that anywhere else in the Apple ecosystem for this price and this chipset. I had to say chipset because I'm sure there's an Intel MacBook out there somewhere for cheaper that could do it but uh, don't buy those. And I also, I thought I'd grown past the need for SD card slots in my computers, but in actuality, even here at the home studio, I use the SD card slot on my MacBook Pro all the time to download these video files. So if you are creative or a creator, this can make even at home stuff much faster and more efficient. And HDMI, who team HDMI is still the best. Seriously, if a small slim laptop like this can fit an HDMI port, all professional level computers need this. It has saved my bacon so many times. The next reason to keep buying this laptop is the power. This has all the power you could want. And because it comes with larger storage and more active memory, you don't fall into the same kind of pitfalls that you might on that cheapest MacBook Air that only had eight gigabytes of memory and it only had a 256 gigabyte hard drive. No, it won't do the same things as an M3 Max MacBook Pro 16, but you really need that. Chances are no, in fact, you do not. Video editing, gaming, well, Mac gaming, cloud-based applications and note-taking all can be done smoothly, quickly, without stutters, and it will all feel like it's happening faster because that beautiful display from earlier. I honestly can't think of a negative thing to say about the power here, which I guess is why I'm making a video about still buying it three years later. Something that props up that power and another reason to buy is the battery life. Uh, this by itself is the main reason to buy MacBooks anymore. They have battery life that can be measured in work days, not in work hours. I feel like I make this point in every MacBook video, but I never have to worry about if this computer will make it through a flight or make it through a day at the office or just praying that it will make it through a single meeting if I don't have an outlet available. Ask me how often that happens with my day job computer. All the time. This battery life essentially means that you don't have to worry about battery life. And it might seem small, but each thing you don't have to worry about adds up over time. And I will gladly pay for peace of mind. That's part of being old, I guess. Like, I don't want the fanciest, I don't want the shiniest. I just want stuff to work and that I don't have to worry about it. This laptop should actually be called the peace of mind laptop because of that HDMI, because of the battery life, and because of the SD card slot. Those are things that you never have to worry about again and you're spending less money than you would buying the competition. Wow, that was... Gary, you could have just summed up the whole video with that sentence right there. And the main thing about buying this computer that you may have picked up on throughout the video is what you are really buying is versatility. This computer, because of its physical size, it can fit anywhere. It can fit from a travel laptop to a desk stand. You've got the power to do anything. The screen works anywhere. It's just a fantastically specced and capable package at any price but because you can get it for about $700 off its original price, dang, it's just, it's too good, which is why this is the third year in a row I've made this video. In reality, in 2024, unless you have a very specific need for more power, you should absolutely continue buying the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14. But what about you? Do you have or have you considered this laptop? Let us all know in the comments below, even if you didn't like it. Let us know if you didn't like it down below. And if you want to save more money and still get an amazing computer, click here to see the same video about the MacBook Air. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.